Hi there. I wanted to make a short screencast for you about projectile motion. Here I'm going to use the FET simulator. This is from the University of Colorado. They make great stuff, so thank you FET for making this available. So what happens here is I have this cannon that can shoot a little projectile, and I can do it here, and you can see the projectile follows a very interesting path through through space. This path is called a parabola. This is a very characteristic shape, very natural, it exists in many different ways in nature, and a projectile is one of them. Now we're ignoring air resistance here, and it's common to just ignore that when we're first learning about it. It makes things a little bit easier for us. But you've probably seen this shape in math. This is actually an upside down parabola, but it's still a parabola. And it consists of two different motions. One is a horizontal motion, and the other is a vertical motion. So this projectile is moving both horizontally and vertically at the same time. And both those motions are independent. They have nothing to do with each other. The horizontal motion is a constant motion or at a constant velocity. Because there are no forces acting on it, it has inertia. And it just keeps on doing what it's doing. just keeps on going at a constant speed. Vertically, however, we have the acceleration of gravity. And that causes the, the projectile to accelerate. And if I fire straight up, I can, I can see something like that. We fire it up here at a very steep angle. You can see it come up, slow down, uh, pick up speed. And, okay, so we can see that the bullet, in this case the projectile, accelerates in the vertical direction. So let me erase that. Now in class we were firing with our Nerf guns horizontally. So we came up at some, some height like this and we fired and we measured the distance. We took our tape measures and we said, okay, how far away does that go? And we did that for different heights. So here, here would be maybe a different height. Okay, so it's going a little shorter and a little shorter still. Well, here we have a parabola. This is just a half a parabola. So we, we start up here. The other half is over here. It's just that it really doesn't exist. It happens mathematically in time before we, we shot the bullet. So, But this is still a parabola. It still consists of a horizontal motion, which is constant speed, constant velocity, and a vertical motion, which is accelerated. Okay, that's what I wanted to remind you about projectile motion. Thanks. See you.